G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I'm here with another tutorial. Two days in a row, shock horror, about making these cool little plant reed sort of things. Um, <laughs> let's get straight into it. All right, you can see behind me the table that I'm currently working on. Full table field coming for that soon, but we're gonna need a broom. Now, I don't know if any straw broom is gonna be, uh, be useful for this, I just grabbed this while I was at Bonnings the other day because I thought it might come in useful. And then I noticed that the texture at the end of these bristles is amazing. Let's just grab one of these out of here. Have a look at that. And I thought, you know, cut some of these off, glue them together at the bottom with a hot glue gun and then, you know, whack a little bit of PVA on there, dunk it in some flock and you know, you've got this cool little shrub. So, just gonna look through this pile of things here on the ground, on the table. Let's zoom you in a little bit. And try and find the pieces where, you know, obviously, you know, I've got one piece at the bottom here and it's branching out. Grab a couple of those. And, uh, you know, that looks okay to me. Use my hot glue gun. Just put a bit of glue on the bottom. I'll wet my fingers a little bit and just squish that together, flatten off the bottom a little bit. And we'll just let that dry off for a second. There's a piece of foam that I prepared earlier, sorry about that. And I'll just drop this into that hole there just to let it sit there while uh, I go ahead and you know make loads more of them. And um, once I've made loads, loads of them, I'll take this out. Now I have been putting, wow, I'm doing a great job of smashing that camera, aren't I? I have been putting a little bit of super glue along the bottom here. At the moment, all that's holding this together is that little bit of um, hot glue. So I have been adding, you know, a little bit of super glue at about the, you know, five millimeters or so along the bottom. Just to, I don't know, give it a little bit of strength. It's probably not necessary. Uh, it does mean now that I need to wait for a little bit. So I'm gonna go grab some uh, super glue accelerator and uh, finish this off real quick. Okay, there we go. So now we're left with this cool type of reed thing. I'd take some clippers or you know something to just you know, alter the shape of this a little bit just so you know everything's not the same height. Okay, so just take the clipper and I've clipped just a few little bits and pieces off of this just to give it a little bit of height variation. And uh, there we go, cool little reed. All we're gonna do now is put some glue on this and dump it in some flock. So here we go, just, I'm gonna put, use my finger to put this on. It's just easier than a brush. I was doing it with a brush in the beginning, but honestly, you know, it's much easier like this. Dab that onto the reed. This is some Woodland Scenics foam flock, coarse turf, yellow grass. And I'm just gonna dump it in there. Just poke it in. Give it a bit of a flick, dump it back in, give it a bit of a flick. And you know, that's what we're left with. Now that'll slowly dry on there. And uh, if we want, we can come back with some scenic cement and just dip it on top. Um, might just add a little bit more to another pass. See what results we get. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, that's what we want. And now we can plant that in our board somewhere. So we'll find a cool place to put this. And I'm just gonna put a bunch of super glue in there. Go ahead with my tweezers and pop that into place. 
Now I might stick a tuft around the bottom there just to hide uh, that super glue join, but that's look, gonna look pretty cool. There we go, simple as that. Some nice cool little flower tuft reed sort of things. Um, and you know they're really really strong because it's made from a broom. You could paint them any color you want, add any type of flock to them you want, and you know end up with a whole bunch of different sorts of really interesting results. So anyway, keep an eye out for this full table build coming soon. Maybe sometime next week I'll have the video up and the table complete. I can't wait for it. I'm super excited. Thanks for tuning in again. I'll catch you next time. See ya.